told you guys the upgrade was coming. Check out Mikey. You saw that? It's so cute, right? No cords, Bluetooth. We on next. We up next. Let's go. The only way I'm about to kill legs right now is because of this. Rain body fuel, white gummy bear. This is actually my favorite one. So let's fuel up. Let's get ready to crush these legs today. Before leg day, you gotta make sure you get a great warm up in. One of the things I started doing after I get my body temperature up, I do lunges before every workout. This opens up my hip flexors, gets my glute, hamstrings, quads a little more warmed up. So if I am gonna squat, I can do it a lot easier to where I don't feel tightness in my hips or any pressure in my back. We get this warm up going, good. Five minutes, all right, making sure we take care of everything. Let's get it going. Today, we're going to reverse sled pulls. What that's going to do, take some inflammation away from your knee, right? You feel like you have knee pain from running or squatting. Do reverse sled pulls. Ah. Go ahead and warm those joints up. Some lunges, superset it with reverse sled pulls. All right, three sets, 20 lunges. Use the turf to go back and forth. on your knees. So what I mean is it's not a back pedal position. You're literally standing, keeping your back straight and just keeping your knees behind your toes. All right, knees behind the toes. That's what warm up is all about. You should be sweating before your workout. All right, we're gonna hit two compound lifts. We're gonna go squat, RDL. I'm only good for two because after two of those, I'm pretty burnt. Then all accessory work, but then we're gonna do squats squats for a little bit of volume and then we can go RDLs and we can figure the rest out. Some hip thrusts maybe, yeah. So, this is my right before squat exercise. If I know if my hamstrings are really tight or not. So, you can see where I am extended, back foot, back uh, toe is flexed, front foot is all the way up. So if I stand, I'm like right in the L position. I try to get my elbows down as far as I can, which is pretty good. And then I rotate, open up my back. side and then we about to go to war Ooh. if you guys do this you're feeling it like in three places feel my hips feel my hamstrings and i'm getting a little bit more pull my lower back and rotation in my lower back as i as i turn and twist this is actually one of my favorite warm-ups all right here we go Set of 15. Uh, Woo. Heart rate is up. See the thing? I shouldn't be sitting down, but if you have to sit down, you should. But this is what I'm saying. Legs is the only body part that I really take pride in. Like it makes you work harder than every other day. Like any legs compare to nothing to upper body. So when I hit legs, when I see them pumped, I feel accomplished. When I see my calves bigger, makes me go harder. And you gotta wear shorts above the knees. Preference, five to three quarters. Right, you gotta see the quads. There we go. 
Now it's a quad check. Give me about five minutes. Still heavy. 20 reps, here we go. It's money. Ah. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on, don't record the pain. RDLs, okay? It's different than deadlift. They both have deadlift. RDL means Romanian deadlift. And simply what we want to do for Romanian deadlift is get more reach. Alright, it's really targeting a lot more the hamstrings and glutes. I a little stand here so I can go down a little bit further. Let's see. Start with a deadlift to start. Now, here we go. I'm not bending over my back. There's no roundness. My back is straight as if you could put a cup on it and it'll just sit there, all right? So, push your butt back. All right, push it back, put your hands here, and that's your deadlift motion, all right? Boom. Take your butt back, and that's the motion, all right? Just in case you do it, so you know, don't wanna hurt your back, because you'll be out for a long time. but yeah, you get the point. Something I hated, I started loving, so that's why I do it more, all right? Whatever you hate, you should be doing more of. about hip thrust, all right? So what we're doing next. I used to always think it was a women exercise, all right? Women always want to grow the glutes, which is an important period, all right? It's crucial because hip thrust is the number one exercise you should be doing to increase power in your glutes. We're gonna go heavy today. I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle it. So I'm already tired, but hey, no pain, no gain. Let's work. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, 
and he gotta be home. <laughs> How my quads looking now? Quad check. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh. Ah. Mm. Oh my god. It hurts. So can feel my glycogen levels going down. So much powerful stuff going on here that I ran out of energy. So, quick sugar boost. Quick sugar boost to get me back going. I eat this one if this one doesn't help. Last that. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. <laughs> night, night. Woo. Well, last but not least, calf raises. All right, right here I'm fighting genetics. I got high calves, stubborn to grow. It doesn't mean you don't do it. You do it until you're satisfied, which means I'm never gonna stop. Which means right now it's burning. Probably good 20 reps. That's my warm up. Next, I'm gonna load the plate. I'm just gonna overload the calves, right? Overload, heavy weight, then go to a lightweight and see how much pump I can get before the workout is done. So, also superset knees with lateral steps. So, always gotta get, make sure I'm standing right. <laughs> Simply right here. A lot of times I go down, but then I'm gonna get more quads and glutes. Right now, I'm simply going for the for the abductors. All right, so I'm just stepping, extending, and releasing. That's it. 20 each side. Ooh. Oh, God. Looks easy, doesn't it? It's not. Ah. Mm. Now we're loading them up. Hard hold. Oh, God, man. Oh, drop set. Just finished up my workout with 20 minutes on the Stairmaster just to like put an exclamation mark on the workout that I just did. Now after that, it's time to recover and that's where my post-workout shake comes into play. Formula One, ignition, all right? Protein, glycogen, and recovery just to make sure you can recover in time for your next workout and also make gains by getting the protein in to continue to help you build muscle. So first form guys, my post-workout shake, I'll be putting the link below. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, try this workout, share it with a friend, because we're making games. You see the leg pump? Let's get it, guys. See you next time.